Does it look like I can move? You have to cut me down first. Greetings, viewers. Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, doing another Skyrim video. The Xbox Series X has made this game even that much more lush and wonderful. I mean, I am a big fan of the game, and it's held up well, and it's even improved with the Xbox Series X. Now, I'm doing the Bleak Falls Barrel Walkthrough because after talking to Carlotta and her brother at the Riverwood Trader thing, I'm locating a claw for them, but I also talked to Falkareth at the White Run or Dragon's Reach Castle, and I got to find a dragon stone for him. And so this is a good way to kind of kill two birds with one stone in a sense, or at least kill one criminal and achieve something and get into good graces of the wizard of um, White Run. And I'm kind of playing this game the way it should be played, because normally I would just travel over to the hidden treasure chests, Google those up, look those up, duck, duck, go it, whatever, and I would get my character really bulked up very quickly by disenchanting items and enchanting items and whatever else. But I'm not going to use those exploits. And I'm going to play like standard civilian type mode and kill these wolves on my way up to Bleak Falls Barrel and eventually get there. So again, this has become a little more difficult in a sense because I'm going backwards. And I would be able to get things done more quickly with, let's say horribly over-enchanted armor and massive amounts of potions that I could make, but then again, like I said, I'm playing this without the exploits. And I can tell you, as difficult as it is, it's a lot more fun. Now, on the way to Bleak Fall Barrows here, you see a little outpost coming up, and you gotta fight some bandits before you go on. And they're all leveled to your character's level, maybe a little harder. But if you fight wisely, you can beat them. And if you use your heal potions and restoration spell wisely, you can beat them. So let's get on with this scrap here. I decided to play a dual wielding character, which is a little more difficult at a low level because you have no real way to block. And, um, well, just wait for future videos because I kind of start uh, borrowing some shields on the way. But I digress. Now, this little outpost is again, you fight the bad guys who are or bandits who are leveled according to your character, and they're not that difficult to fight. There's not a lot of treasure here, so you got to kind of state, take off some of the weapons of the characters. Like this one, she's wielding a mace and has, ah, uh, yeah, I made quick work of her, but now after I take 
the gold from her. The iron armor and stuff is not worth carrying because it's low level and weighs a lot. So I'm going to leave it on her and move on to Bleak Falls Barrel. But there is um, a treasure chest up at the top here. And it contains a little bit of gold, some lock picks, and a potion. Don't worry about the iron stuff. Always go for steel. It's a lot better. And now I'm going to move on to Bleak Falls Barrel and take down the bandits that are there. Again, let's check around. There's a coin purse, which is great. Don't need the wooden bowl. First person view, sometimes good to pick stuff up so you don't accidentally pick stuff up or leave stuff. And now let's get on with this fight at Bleak Falls Barrel. There's some bad guys who shoot arrows. You want to try and lure the bad guys out and take them on one by one. Because right now the armor is low and that's my plan is to lure them out. Just a little warning, I'm probably going to do some fast forwards in this video because there is some movement through the dungeon that does take some time and I don't want this video to be extremely long. I try and control the time of the video, so if all of a sudden you see some fast forwarding going on, well, yeah, that's me just cutting down on time of the video. Now there should be one last guy outside here, bandit, could be a woman. Well, yeah, this guy, take him down, and then we will get into the Bleak Falls Barrel. And he goes down quickly. Again, these, these bandits are leveled to your character, and you're not going to find anyone far more aggressive. And one of the things I love about Series X, the... Load time is insanely quick between dungeons. I used to have to edit out when I was doing the Xbox 360, sometimes 30 seconds. And then there's a, I'm going to brighten the display. And the great part is with this game, there is a quick save. So I can quick save rather than eat up a lot of space saving. So let's sneak up on these guys and see if I can take one down with an arrow and then fight them quickly.
Now, there's some minor treasure in the area, uh, an axe if you need to cut some wood, but other than that, there's not much around, and I'm going to fast forward to the next event. There is a bandit here, and he's a bandit outlaw, which makes him even more bad guy and yeah i'm gonna switch to my swords and beat him up he's really making a heck of a dent in me with that mace but he's down now this is the puzzle room where you're going to he's got a torch and eh, I, I got i gotta get candlelight i'll carry the mace a little healing here and then we will get to the puzzle room. The trick is, if you're going to play a character who is mainly attack-based, you kind of want a high health, but you need to carry healing potions and use your restoration wisely. Now, it's Snake, Whale, and whatever other Snake, wh or snake, snake Whale will be the puzzle. And the first one is going to be a snake. Next one, snake. And the last one is going to be whale. And that should open up the door. And then I'll fast forward. Yep, here we go. You don't get shot by poison arrows. Now there's some skeever and some other stuff. But again, I'm going to fast forward. Now this is where you come upon the first part of the quest, and that is to get the claw, golden claw. If you ignore the people in Riverwood and you go to the main mission, you'll still bump into this guy. And the only way to fight this spider is to shoot it, back away, shoot it, and back away. Because it is a wounded giant frostbite. It'll still spit poison at you, but you don't want it to physically attack you. So you just kind of have to whittle it down with arrows and shoot it back away, shoot it and back away. And it takes a little while at a low level, so I will fast forward. Don't let it get me! Help! low level frostbite venom is good it does some minor damage and it helps you can sell it as well to some of the traders spider eggs are awesome they help with you crafting damage magic regeneration poisons and yeah those can be sold for some good money so let's get on with the conversation with this dude who is hanging there You did it. You killed it. Now cut me down before anything else shows up. Yes, the claw. I know how it works. The claw, the markings, the door in the hall of stories. I know how they all fit together. Help me down and I'll show you. You won't believe the power the Nords have hidden there. Does it look like I can move? You have to cut me down first. Once you cut Arvel down, kill him quickly because he will run away and lead you on a chase and you're going to have to kill him anyway. So yeah, just kill him right away. Look at his journal, grab the claw and whatever else you can grab from him. He doesn't have a lot, but his journal will tell you about the claw and how it fits in the door and the symbols and how to rotate them. I'm just going to fast forward on this. This is where you're going to encounter some Draugr. You can tell the ones that are unanimated versus the ones that will be animated. 
this is an unanimated Draugr, and the other one that I killed is an animated Draugr. The unanimated ones don't have any armor or anything on them. You can still take stuff from them, but the animated ones will have obvious signs of armor and armament, but sometimes they sneak up on you. As you can see, this one is wearing some form of armor. And let's see if I can sneak up. Yep, look, this guy has armor and arms. Again, that's kind of how you can tell an animated versus an unanimated Draugr. And they don't have a lot, just gold, maybe a magic weapon or something. But again, you can tell this is an unanimated Draugr, and you can take from him. Not worth anything, but skeletons, they're not animated. And this guy is animated, and we're going to have to take him down here. You can kind of time these blade traps, but to be honest with you, the best way is to make sure you're fully healed and just sprint right through them. And you'll take a few minor hits, but yeah, you can then deactivate them at the end here. And I'm going to fast forward through the Draugr fights. You can deal with those on your way through. There will be a few of them. And I'm going to get to the main part of the mission. And that is the actual Bleak Falls barrel. This is where you get to the main part of the mission. There's just this one Draugr to fight. Again, they're leveled toward your character. And take him down quickly. There's a treasure chest that you can search. Doesn't contain very much. But we will get to the barrel here. Now, before you head straight and get to the barrel, you want to head down this path to the right. And the reason you want to head down the path to the right is there is a treasure chest at the bottom, and it's worth opening and building up your lock picking skills. There are several skills you want to build up that are great, that you don't have to add any perk points to, but the higher they are, the better they are. One is lock picking, and two is alchemy. But with alchemy, you'll eventually want to add some perk points, and the other thing is blacksmithing. If you're going to build a tank type character, you want to blacksmithing is an essential uh, skill because you want as much armor as possible. And again, these glowing mushrooms are really good ingredients toward um, some other form of potion, damage magic or something, invisibility, Paralysis, again, gather up as much alchemy ingredients as you can and manufacture some potions. Killed another Draugr, leveled up, and now we're in Bleak Falls Sanctum. Another blade trap, again, just run straight through. You try and time it, you're going to get killed more than you would just running straight through. Now I have to face a couple Draugr. They're really easy to take down with a longbow. I kind of want to do this fire trap here thing, but I got to deal with this guy here. And again, these are easy to take down, and they're on your way to the main barrel. And this guy with the arrows, hopefully I can do the fire trap. 
get him positioned here, and you shoot the string, and it drops. Yeah, fire trap, awesome. And now I'm going to fast forward here. Now we're at the main entrance to the main sanctum. A quick save, and then you look at the dragon claw that you have, and you can zoom in, and it will show you the necessary figures. Bear, moth, I believe, and owl. Actually, that's not a moth, it's a dragon. So it's bear, dragon, owl. And you turn these various rings until they match up. You use the claw and it opens the door. Now, before you go to the main character and take on the main mission, what you want to do is over to the right of the main Diaz or raised area is this place behind the waterfall. And there is a chest around here with, yep, right here, novice lock. And you get it open and there is some gold and other stuff. Again, you want to explore around this area because there are hidden chests and hidden other things. Refined Moonstone, that'll be good. And that was a pretty good haul if you look at it. And you can't get on to the main Diaz from here, so what you got to do is walk all the way back and take on the main mission. That fight was a little more easier than I remember. Uh, you got the word wall, you take down the main bad guy, and you want to kind of walk around here before you leave because there is probably some hidden stuff. Yep, another chest right here. Uh, steel shin boots, gold, not that good of a haul. You walk around and again, you take a look around. Sometimes there's a hidden chest and sometimes there isn't. So I'm going to fast forward to the next um, highlight. On your way out, you come to this room and there is a small chest. And yeah, it's got some good stuff in it. Drop the hide helmet. Who cares? You got a skull here. Let's take a look. Some ingredients to steal. Oh, can't steal them, so the heck with it. It's time to exit to Skyrim. Fast forward and complete the mission.
the sooner you you found it <laughs> there it is strange it, it seems smaller than i remember <laughs> funny thing huh i'm gonna put this back where it belongs i'll i'll never forget this you've done a great thing for me and my sister it means so much to us to have the claw back where it belongs it's a fine day with you around Right there, Camilla just said, it's a fine day with you around. That means she is now marryable, and if you own a house or need a place to crash, you can eventually marry her. I did grease the wheels with Yzold, so you can marry Yzold and get a free house. But if you marry Camilla, uh, she has a place in the loft up above the shop in Riverwood. And, well, yeah, you can crash there if you need a place to crash. Um, after leaving Bleak Falls Barrow, I just fast-forwarded to Riverwood to deliver the claw, do a little trading, sell some stuff, and now let's move on to actually bringing the Dragonstone. Now I'm back at Dragon's Reach. I can deliver the claw, or not the claw, the Dragonstone to Falkreath, and then a bunch of other stuff happens, or Farangar. Why am I saying Falkreath? Nah, whatever. This is also where you can kind of, uh, yeah, what about my reward here? Oh, uh, talk to the Arrow. Okay, whatever. I'm going to do some disenchanting, and um, yeah. Because that's a great way, again, enchanting is another skill you kind of want to build up here. You don't have to add perk points, but it's a good way, like the hunting bow of arcing and the other hunting bow of sapping. I just gained three potential enchantments that I can use later on. And oh, now we're going to talk to the Jarl and get our reward here. I've already ordered my men to muster near the main gate. Good. Don't fail me. There's no time to stand on ceremony, my friend. I need your help again. I want you to go with Irileth and help her fight this dragon. You survived Helgen, so you have more experience with dragons than anyone else here. But I haven't forgotten the service you did for me in retrieving the dragon stone for Faringar. As a token of my esteem, I have instructed Avenici that you are now permitted to purchase property in the city. And please, accept this gift from my personal armory. I should come along. I would very much like to see this dragon. Yeah, fighting a dragon is another video. And for another time. I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you like this type of video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon. I post four videos a week and you don't want to miss out. Yep, I'll probably be doing some more Skyrim videos because I'm a little bored with Red Dead Redemption. I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. Thanks for stopping by.